Good evening. Decaf version of Coffee Time with Janet and Sharon Calder. So, Sharon, let's yes. just talk about for a minute. This time of year is very busy. You have a very calming influence on me, and I really need to be able to handle putting more fun, more joy in my life, and reducing the stress. So, tell me, my darling, how do you start to get into that mood of adding joy and fun so that you could counteract stress? Okay. Well, for me, what works best is taking some time, right? Taking time for yourself, taking time to allow anything that is pondering or you're holding on to to let go, right? And for me, doing that is going back to my yoga. So the yoga for me, whether I am teaching or I am practicing for myself, gives me an opportunity to really let go and surrender what I no longer need, right? Really giving yourself an opportunity to find that joy by giving yourself space. So it's more of a mental practice, not only a physical practice, right? Absolutely. Actually, for me, it is more mental than anything. And even though I may get this incredible vinyasa flow workout, it's a soulful workout, which is connecting your mind to your breath, connecting your soul to your heart. Wow. So this summer we had a charity event at my house and it was 99 degrees out and we did yoga around my swimming pool. It wasn't supposed to be hot yoga, but it turned out to be hot yoga. Steamy hot. Steamy hot yoga. Yeah. So the biggest thing I learned by watching you do that was about getting into the flow of your own little space. Mm. So I always say, I'm traveling tomorrow, and I always say I get into the Newark state of mind when I get to the airport to know that my personal space ends where I end because the airport is really crowded this year. So what's your best recommendation for people to find their personal space and, and get into their personal space and not be affected by all the people around them? That is the greatest question, and it's something that we all struggle to do. She makes really good coffee. Thank you. Um, I think that in that environment, it is like crucial to first really take a look at your surrounding environment, see what's there, see where you may feel a little safe, right? So find that safe spot first, and then come back to, I know this may sound corny, but really come back to the breath. Come back to your breathing. So always the breath. Always the breath, but really just learning to bring the breath into this deep place, right? Where you can clear your mind of any of that um, real, um, chatter that goes on in our mind constantly and especially when we're in those traveling situations or you're in a, a busy place or a big party and you're just needing to find that space come back to your breath come back to a deep deep breath where you feel that you can start to let go and connect and disconnect to all the craziness that's happening around you right so that's what my newark state of mind is when i disconnect from the tsa and all the people and all the luggage and all the pushing and all the tension and i think it's really important this time of year to just become aware mm. of the fact that it's so easy to take other people's energy on Absolutely. i think that you really need to Stay in your own energy, practice your own yoga, breathing, whatever it is that you want to call it, but be aware of it. Don't let it go too far because once you lose it, it's really hard to get it back. Exactly. And yeah. just remember that you're in control of your state of mind. It's the one thing you have control of. You might not have control of the long lines or anything else, but you do have control of your state of mind. So use it effectively, right? Absolutely. And, you know, just stay connected to your truth. Stay connected to what you know is right and 
wrong and you know come back to the place that you always can find comfort come back to the place that you feel most at ease whatever that is and sometimes it's breathing sometimes it's visualization so use what works for you and it takes practice and it takes time okay well i'm gonna get a lot of practice tomorrow tell me how it worked for you i'll see you soon bye, bye.